Every single month, our care clients generate literally tens of thousands of leads per month. Uh, and, and digging into our data, one really cool stat that we find is well over 60% of all those leads come from one source. And that one source, guys and gals, is search engine optimization. And one, one of the key things that people kind of do wrong, I did the same thing when I first got started, is I would look at the big major keywords I'm trying to rank for, the broad keywords, right? It could be the sell my house fast Dallas or whatever it is. Um, but what we found is the, the majority of the leads that are coming in are actually from what we call local SEO. It's SEO that's really based on local keyword phrases. It's us taking keywords that people are typing in nationally and boiling them, boiling them down to work in your local market. And that's the way that you kind of cr crack through the clutter in your market. You don't go after these big national keyword phrases unless you're a national company. Even if you are a national company, the way that those guys are winning the game is they're going after local keyword phrases with local SEO. So I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips here really quick in this short uh, carrot white. I was about to call it, a, call it a carrot cast, guys and gals. If you have not listened to our carrot cast, go check out our carrot cast at carrotcast.com, our new podcast. These are our carrot whiteboard strategy sketch videos. So in this strategy sketch, we're gonna be walking through local SEO and a couple quick tips, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to look at is when you guys go to Google, and you guys do this probably multiple times a day, and you may or may not have noticed this, but when you go to Google, you, you put in your search phrase and you start to see these little suggestions that pop up in, in Google's search box. And they call them Google suggested searches or something like that, okay? So right here, they start to automatically pop up and it could be lots of different things, but it starts with the keyword phrase you put in there. In this particular example, you've got, I typed in inherited house on that search phrase, okay? And then Google might serve me up inherited house with siblings, inherited house sale, uh, how to sell an inherited house. And there's a bunch of other phrases that Google might suggest for search phrases that you're typing in. Now the cool thing here, the cool thing is Google doesn't just pick these things out of thin air. Google decides on these based on what people are actually searching in. They show those suggested searches based on the search volume. Is, is there enough people that matters that Google thinks it matters to show that as a suge suggested search to make your life easier so you don't have to type in more things. They're going, hey, you might be looking for one of these things because of a lot, a lot of other people are also looking for something similar, okay? So one of the best things we do there, guys and gals, is take those as keyword suggestions to go after. Because you know if people are typing those in, we can get content or our web page or a video in front of them, and now we can get them to our website and hopefully become, you know, uh, they can become a client of ours, okay? So using this example, it's a quick and simple process. What we're gonna do is once you find a suggested search that is one that you wanna create a piece of content on or you wanna get in front of that type of prospect who's typing that in, what we do next is we take that and that's our keyword, right? Inherited house with siblings. We're gonna go with that one in this particular example because this is someone who inher inherited a house they have other siblings that inherited it with them. And they're probably having an issue. They're not really sure how to sell it. They're not really sure how to settle that, that inheritance so it's fair, and how they can sell it quickly, how they don't maybe can avoid working with a real estate agent. Or maybe they want to work with an agent if you're an agent. And we can tap into that, that lead flow now. Okay. But the way that you actually get leads from that now is don't go after that keyword. Don't go after inherited house with siblings. Go after the localized version of it add your location, okay? So you might do inherited house with siblings in Utah, or if you're in a certain city, inherited house with siblings, Grants Pass, Oregon, inherited house with siblings, um, Miami, Florida, okay? So you guys can, can see how we're taking a keyword and then we're localizing it with the location. That right there completely trims down your competition from all across the country. It's only now people in your area that you're competing against. And the cool thing is, now we're not competing against a really highly competitive search phrase like a we buy houses or like a sell my house fast. This is a very, very drilled down search phrase with someone that you can really help and they're probably highly profitable deals or great clients to work with. So what do you do with that once you really nail that localized keyword? The next thing you do is if you're an investor carrot client, we have a tool built into our system called the Carrot SEO tool. And if you're not a carrot client, there's other tools that can kind of help you do this or kind of hack through it yourself in your own website or work with your web guy to do this. But in our Carrot SEO tool, uh, what you do is you take that keyword and put it in uh, a spot that we call the focus keyword section. And there's one of these in every single one of your website, website pages, every single one of your blog posts when you're editing the, that piece of content. The Carrot SEO tool is right there below the piece of content that you're editing. Okay, so put in your entire keyword phrase there, the keyword plus location. So inherited house with siblings, Utah. Then our system's gonna say, hey, awesome. So you, we're, we wanna try to optimize this page for that piece of content, for that keyword phrase, beautiful. What you do is take that exact same keyword phrase and now put it in the title tag, which is that next part down. 
Okay, that's the title description. That tells Google exactly what that page is about. That's what shows up in a, in a Google search listing. When someone searches Google and there's your, your listing there along with your competitors, that's the very top part of that Google search listing. That's your title tag. Okay, and you can control that. In most websites, we make it really easy with Carrot. And then you've got your SEO description. Make sure you got write a good short description, about 60 characters or so, but include that keyword phrase in it or one that's like it. So you could you could do your a description something like, hey, have you have you inherited a house with your siblings in Utah and you want to sell that house quickly or find a way that you can get, you know, that you can that you can uh, get the money uh, from the house without conflict with your siblings. Well, we can buy the house, just check out our service here, blah, blah, blah. So some sort of a good description there. If you follow this very simple process, you're going to be of like 90% of your competitors because mostly everyone else is going after these really, really competitive search phrases. Ones that like a bajillion people are searching that have a lot of different, uh, has a lot of competition. Now going after those search phrases is also amazing because they have the most traffic. But what we do, this is how you win the game. Okay, this is how you win the game. While you're trying to rank for those really competitive broad phrases, go after 5, 10, 15 of these with a blog post. Okay, so create a blog post on inherited house with siblings. It's titled that what you localize it with Utah. And then find other keyword phrases like that that are drilled down. Use our local SEO formula here and start creating a piece of content every week. Follow our other whiteboard strategy sketch that walks you through when to post your content and how often to post your content. We have all kinds of other videos, guys and gals, that dive more deeply into this strategy on how do you create content, when to post the content. Like I said, what should your content strategy be? And this one right here is gonna help you drill down on the right keywords to go after and how to get in front of them. Go out there and implement it, guys and gals. Let us know how it works for you and go check out our other carrot cast our podcast carrotcast.com and our other whiteboard videos on our youtube channel and while you're there subscribe and share it up with friends and family if that if it's something that's of value to you